Hey, what's up you guys? It's your boy Jamal Abiyade and we're back again with another YouTube video. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to organize your Logic Sessions to speed up your workflow. Now, organize your session is really the first step before mixing or arranging a beat. And this is very, very important if you're not doing your own mixing. And comment below right now, let me know what video you wanna see next. And I just dropped my new music video groove last week, so please make sure you go check that out. I'll put the music video link below in the description. But before we get into this video, I gotta give a shout out to our sponsors, DistroKid. If you don't know, DistroKid is a service that musicians use to put their music on online streaming services. If you need your music on Apple, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon, Tidal, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, you name it, you do that by uploading it through DistroKid. The dope thing is DistroKid only costs $19.99 per year. If I upload one song or a hundred songs, the base plan is still $19.99 a year. Go click my specialized promo link below and you'll receive 7% off your first year's membership. But enough of all that, let's get into this video. Let me show you guys how to organize your logic set and make your workflow a lot, lot faster. So the first thing you do is first of all, name all the tracks. If you look down here, I have a track named Audio 1, Audio 10. I don't know what, I don't know what Audio 10 is. I don't know what Audio 11 is. Is that an ad lib, dub, who knows what that is. So what I do, usually do first is name all the instruments, all the instruments and all the audio files. What is it? Then next thing I do, I put the instruments in order. I usually go from drums to 808, to bass, to the leads. Get something that works for you guys. You don't gotta organize like this. Organize it something that's the same way each time. That makes sense, have a system. I'm gonna speed through this part. I don't want you guys to sh watch me do this, but watch, I'm gonna name everything and organize it. So here we go. So if you see already, I already organized my um, vocals. Intro vocal, hook main, hook main, there's two lines for that. Hook ad libs, dub chant, dub chant. And next I'm gonna name these instruments. So now I everything, I named everything how I wanted to name it and I put it in the order. So what I do is I usually just put my, I drag my kick first, boom, what's next? Snare, boom, clap. I have my hi-hat right there, boom. Then I can go into my um my percussions. So it's gonna, I'm gonna do the drums first, 808 and the lead guitars. So we did the first couple steps. We named it and grouped it together, but it's still, you see my screen, it still looks pretty damn messy. What do I do next? You can actually use icons so you can put pictures on each of your instruments. Let me show you how to do that. I go to my inspector window. My inspector window is this I right here in the top left hand corner. Boom, boom. If you don't see it, you actually can press I on the keyboard, pop it up. Boom. So hit this button right here, track, it says kick, boom. It says icon. All you have to do is click the icon and icons pop up. You can go to drums, you can go to a kick. You can do this with everything. Uh, I'm going to skip down here so you can see it. Let's say I, ha I have lead guitar. I, I click it. If the specter is closed, you just go over here and click click inspector because yours might be closed or hit I. I mix it open and close. Boom, boom. Click that icon button. And mind you, if you don't see it, make sure this track this is a track right here. This is a little triangle. You have to hit it. So it comes down track. Boom. Click it. Hit the icon button. Look, it has a guitar window. Boom. Click a guitar, whatever you're using. It doesn't have to be specific, just to help you when you see it. Boom, guitar. So when I'm looking for my guitar, I don't have to actually read lead guitar. I can see that icon right there. That will speed up your workflow a thousand percent. I know it seems simple, but this kind of stuff speeds up your workflow. If you do this while you're making the song, you don't have to go back at the end. I'm not gonna sit here and make you guys watch me put an icon on all these tracks. So I'm gonna do another time jump. All right, you guys, so we're back at it. I have my icons on my instruments as you see. It cleaned it up a little bit. Now I know I can, see, I can go right to my kick, snare, boom, guitars are right here. So what else can you do to organize the stuff? You can separate everything by colors. Um, one way to do colors, you can just go to view, boom, Go down to show colors. The colors pops up right here. Highlight what you want. To click over here and drag, you can highlight stuff. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna highlight my drums first. I'm gonna click right here, boom, 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 boom. Highlight that, I'm gonna make that this orange color. The lead guitar that's right here, the lead guitars, I'm gonna make that a different color, I'm gonna drag, boom. Click that, look, I'm gonna make that pink, cool. The 808 and the drag. Uh, make that yellow. And all these colors just do is you can see the different sections just by view. And again, let me show you something. You can also just do option C, boom, option C, look at that, option C, boom, pops up. Color, so if I look at it, I can see what section I'm in. All right, these are the drums, this is the lead guitar, and my voxes right here, these are my effects, and down here's my vocals. Another great tool for organizing your session and your workflow is the marker tool. Marker tool is undefeated, man. The marker tool is key because it get, lets you break down 
the parts of your song. If you look at your session, you go up here, you see this little this little blue box right here. You click it, boom. So if you hit Control and click this gray area right here, boom, it says Marker, Arrangement, Tempo, Everything. I only use Marker in this, so it's already clicked, but sometimes it might not be clicked, so you want, the marker won't pull up. So if it's not clicked, everything will pull up. Marker, Arrangement, all this. You don't need all this, so just click Control, click, Unclick Arrangement, Unclick Signature, Unclick Tempo, because I just don't want you guys to get confused. So now you have the marker. To add a marker, you hit plus, boom. It's gonna take the whole length of the project, so hit another one, boom. All right. What I'm doing is, this is where the first marker is. It's where it ends, it ends where the next one starts. So I just hit marker, boom. I think this is my intro right here. Intro. Oh, boom, look at that. And then I hit option C and color it. It can be any color again. So my intro, I'll make it yellow. Boom. Cool. Marker two. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to hit another one. Boom. I'm going to drag it down. Uh, I think this whole part is the verse. Verse. Verse one. All I'm doing is kind of arranging my project so I can just see it all together. All I did is drag the play hit over here, hit again, boom, marker four, drag it down. This right here is the hook, hook. And again, I can hit option C, boom, click the verse. I'll make the ver all the verses uh, blue, and I'll make the hook, I'll make the hook green. All right. And if you want to just put it different places, all you have to do is copy and paste. So I literally just, let's say, after the verse is going to be another hook. So I click the hook, boom, command C, boom, go down here, hook. Uh, I'm gonna make the hook. So this intro right here, I'm gonna go intro, command C, that makes it a copy, go after the hook, boom, I'm gonna hit it again, and that's gonna be the space I have for the outro. And look at that, I have markers set up just to let me know how the how I want my song to go. Intro, hook, verse, hook, verse, hook. And the verse, I, when I mix it, I want to have a phasing effect or something. Click it so it's highlighted, boom. All you have to do is hit D on the keyboard, D, boom. D opens up the side window right here. Look at that, go to the marker, boom. So make sure this little blue button right here in the corner is clicked. Oh, so you see the marker, I'm on my verse marker. I hit marker, boom, oh, click edit. And look at this. And it's colored blue for you and everything. I can make notes, effect on first verse and it's not a big thing but now i have notes so now i don't have to write it down remember it i can actually put notes in my project to remember to go back to or if someone else is mixing it mixing the master you can write down notes for them at different and different markers of the song hook do this for the hook make the hook loud right here make the dubs low whatever whatever you can write it in the session it's dope man it's very very dope last thing is really really dope you can group things together using folder stacks or summoning stacks i'm not 100 percent sure what the difference between them i know folder stacks is the basics of it so let me show you how to do that so all i have to do is hit the shift hit the down button i have all my drums highlighted as you see all my drums are highlighted if i hit control and click and go down it says create a track stack you want to create a folder stack just hit create boom look at that it says sub name that drums and look at this, all your drums are all in that folder, but it's all nice and neat so it doesn't look crazy. And if you don't like how this little wave sound looks, you can just hit control and click it. Boom, go to drums, hit one of those. Boom, that's all your drums, look at that, boom. And I can do track sex for this whole thing. So last but not least, I have the vocals. So this is not a good example because I don't have any verses in this vocal yet, but when I usually do vocals, I separate them by parts. So I'll put all this stuff, the hook, in one folder stack, but I'll put the verses in another folder stack. But since I don't have verses in here, I'm putting everything in a folder stack, but if I had verses, I would separate them from verses and everything. All right, now, so now look at my session. Look how organized it is. Look how I have my drums right here. Boom, the counter melody, leads, vox, hook vocals. Look how organized and neat and everything looks. It looks great. It'll be easy for me to mix this down and arrange it how I want to. And let's say if I was like, oh, this is the verse. I just want the verse part. Oh, I can just highlight. Look, I just highlight the verse, press option, and put it over there. You need to organize it first before you start arranging and everything like that. So if you're working with someone or you're getting ready to mix your tracks or anything of that nature, you need to organize them so it'll be easy for you to go through and your workflow will be quick, fast, and easy.
And you guys, that has been a quick logic video. I hope you guys learned how to organize your logic session to improve your workflow. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and join the family. My name is Jamal Abiyade and I'm thankful for you watching. And I will be back next week, same time, with another logic tutorial video. Everything is lit. I'll see you.